Hello guys, my name is Sumit and you are watching CTX Cloud Tech videos. So today we are going to see some basic functions of a ESXi server. So once you guys will log in into the ESXi server, here is the host. Host is your ESXi server. In the right side, you can see that get a vCenter. So from here, you guys can download the ISO of a vCenter. So it will go automatically. It will send you automatically on a VMware site. So the next option is create and register a virtual machine. So if you want to create a virtual machine, so from here you can uh, create the virtual machine. The next option is shutdown. So from shutdown, you can shut down your ESXi server. Next one is reboot. From reboot, you can restart your ESXi server and refresh, you can refresh the, you can refresh the dashboard of ESXi server. In the right side, there is uh, the CPU. So you can see that how much the CPU consumption on your ESXi server. So currently you guys can see that 4% and the capacity is 13.5 gigahertz. Next one is memory. So you can see the memory. You can you guys can see the RAM utilization of your ESXi server. So currently this is, has the 16 gigs of RAM and 10% is currently using ESXi server. Next one is storage. You guys can see that there is no free storage on my ESXi server. So storage is nothing here. Here is some hardware configuration of your ESXi server. So how many CPUs? Uh, what is the processor on this uh, ESXi server? Next one is memory. Next one is uh, virtual flash, flash drive. Next one is networking. What is host name? What is the IP address? What is the DNS? So all these settings you can see from here. Next one is you can see that vMotion is configured or this or not and what is the performance graph on this ESXi server. So this is the basic dashboard of your ESXi server. Next one is going, next tab is to manage. So in the manage you can see that the first option is uh, to con there is the logs in the first option. The next is how to you can enable auto start of your ESXi server. Then well, the second one is swap and date and time. So I'm not going inside deep of all these functions. So later on we will study one by one. So I'm just giving an overview of this uh, ESXi server right now. Next one is hardware. So if you need to add any of the uh, USB drive or any um, like any third party device you want to connect with the ESXi server. So, so if you from here you guys can manage the drivers of that ESXi server. And the next one is power management. So you can you guys can configure some policies here for the power man management, like automatically start or whenever it is not used, you, can, you guys can shut down. Next one is licensing. So from here, I, this is the like trial license here. But whenever you will update any license on this server, so assign a license from here, you guys can assign the license key. And after that, you guys can see that what are the features available on your license server. Next one is package. So if you guys want to upgrade your ESXi server from here, you guys can see the install updates and you guys can install the like latest updates on your ESXi server. Next one is services. So all this, uh, all the services which is required by the ESXi. So all these are running. If you want to start any of the service which is required on the ESXi server from here, you can restart or start. The next one is security group. So if you want to give all any, like if you want to give the uh, access on this ESXi server. So from here, you guys can give the access in the authentication. So you can join this server, ESXi server into the Active Directory. From here, you guys can manage the certificates of your ESXi server users and roles. So right now, we do not, do not need to configure all these things here because, uh, you know, vCenter is uh, used to manage uh, all the ESXi servers centrally. Okay. So for all these kind of work we can do with the help of ESXi server, but here this is because this is our first ESXi server so we need to see all these options and you guys need to know if there is that issue with particular ESXi server so how you guys can uh, fix this or from where you guys can go into that options next one is lockdown mode so whenever you will enable the lockdown mode so uh, you guys cannot manage the ESXi servers from here whenever you will configure in uh, vCenter so whenever we will add any ESXi server into the vCenter, so it will give an option to lockdown mode. So once we will enable, so we cannot manage this ESXi server from here. You guys need to manage all the ESXi server from the vCenter. Next one is monitor. So you guys can monitor the performance of your ESXi server. So how many throttlings of CPU, how many uses of RAM, etc. So in last hour, uh, last uh, one hour, what is my CPU consumption? What is my memory consumption? So all these kind of graph you can see that from here. Next one is virtual machines. So whenever we will create any virtual machine on this ESXi server, so this will show up here. So in our few, uh, like next uh, two or three hours, we will create a virtual machine here. So after that, you guys can see the virtual machines here. Next one is storage. So how many storage is attached to your ESXi server? From here, you guys can manage the e your storage. Next one is networking. So this is the main concept of today's video because uh, today we are going to configure some net basic networking on this ESXi server. 
So if you'll be, go into the management network and you guys can see that how many physical adapters are present in uh, connected with this ESXi server. So you guys can say that VMNIC0 is connected with this ESXi server. On the front end and the, in the back end, there is a VM kernel port and um, there is an IP 192.168.1.34, which is management IP. You guys can see that management network. So from here, we are managing this uh, ESXi server. So this is the management network of this uh, ESXi server. So this is the front end and this is the back end. So here, our ESXi server resides and this is the front end where the networking is going to outside ESXi server like your DNS server, your DHCP server. So all this networking are, is flow from here to here. So next one is monitor. You guys can see that all the events on your network and like there are more options in the network. So coming back to our networking uh, module first. So there are uh, one, two, three, four, five options here. So starting from the physical network, because whenever you will purchase any system, any server or any workstation, so first option after installing the OS is to connect with the network, okay? So that's first option we are going to see physical networks. Physical network means whatever, whatever, the, uh, whatever the Ethernet ports connected to your server, okay? So now you guys can see that I have two virtual physical NICs present in this server. From this NIC, we, I am managing my ESXi server. You guys can see that subnet is 192.168 and this is the VLAN ID. And from second VNIC, I'm not managing anything. So there is no IP address on this VLAN, okay? So starting from basic, if any person uh, say that, okay, can you add a uh, physical NIC on your ESXi server? So how you guys will add a physical NIC on your ESXi server, okay? So this is our first lab. And this is very basic because I just want to go from the basic to advanced, okay? So to add any NIC on your ESXi server, first you have to shut down your ESXi server. So I am going to shut down my ESXi server. In the production environment, you guys can put into the maintenance mode and then you guys can add the NIC. But uh, this is the like my ESXi is run on uh, this VMware workstation. So that's why I need to shut down this ESXi server. So if you guys will add, go to edit virtual machine and click on add. So from here, you guys can see that network adapter. Click on finish and you guys can see that network adapter three is connected with this ESXi server. So to configure the networking, I have configured my networking in VMNet NIC zero, VMNet zero on the bridge mode. That means this virtual machine can communicate to outside network, not with this workstation, outside another workstations because I have a like big lab so my DHCP, DNS and everything is running on another servers, another physical servers. So that's why we need to configure VMNet on a breeze mode. So click on OK. And you guys can see that a network adapter 3 is connected with this ESXi server. Now I'm going to power on this virtual machine. And after that, we will see if a new physical adapter get added to this ESXi server, ESXi host or not. So like we will go with the step by step. Uh, we are not going to like skip uh, the steps and then going to fo going forward and forward so we will go go from the basic uh, steps because whenever you will purchase or whenever whenever you are going to create your lab for the vmware the first option is you need to know how to add a physical nick on a esxi server so that's the first question or that's the first practical lab so this esxi server is starting so let me pause this video so now you guys can see that my esxi server is back after reboot so I now I'm going to access my ESXi server. So let me refresh this login page. And it's back now. I'm going to enter my credentials here. Press enter. And meanwhile, it uh, seems it is, it is loading. So that's fine, it's loading. So again, I'm going to the networking and in the physical NICs now, you guys can see that one more NIC is added here. So in that way, you guys can add multiple NICs on your ESXi server. So this is our first practical and first basic practical. Okay. Next one is virtual switch. So what is virtual switch? Or you guys can say that standard switch. So in if I'll pick, capture this diagram, say let me go inside scrimping tool and let me capture this picture. And let me copy this, add it into the paint. So here you guys can see that. So if I'll show you, this is my physical NIC, okay? 
so whenever you need to add any physical nick so th this will present in like left side of your uh, switch so you guys can say that this is switch and in the left side of the switch there is a physical nick and in the left side there is the nick which is connected to my virtual machines so this intermediate person called virtual switch or you guys can say that standard switch and here is the my physical nix physical network adapters and in the background how, how the virtual machines are connected with this virtual machines so these machines get connected with the help of port groups vm port group okay so now if you guys want to add any standard switch on a esxi server so how you guys can add so now you guys can see that there is only one switch which is connected to my management network and vm nick is connected to the front end of this switch okay now i need to add one more virtual switch for my storage so i'm going to select add and let me give this name v s w i t c h v switch one okay now i have to select which nick card i want to add with this virtual um, standard switch okay so you guys have seen my in uh, like few minutes back i was telling that my uh, standard uh, first uh, switch is connected with vm nick 0 and now i want to connect with this new virtual switch with vm nick 2 which is right now we have added to psxi server so i have selected vm nick 2 and click on add so now you guys can see that i have added two virtual switch here so first we have added a virtual uh, physical nick here on the esxi server after that i have added a virtual switch or you guys can say that standard switch okay so if i'll open this virtual switch so what you guys can see that i have connected a physical adapter here which is vm nick 2 and there is no port group added here that means it cannot communicate in the background until or unless we do not configure any port group with this uh, switch okay so coming back to our networking the next option is port group okay so i am going to add a port group and i am going giving this name is storage so now we are going to add the storage in our next video so first i am going giving this name s t o r a g storage okay and we from uh, with which standard switch i want to connect with this storage port group so i want to connect with virtual switch one okay click on add and so, and once you guys will edit this so you guys can see that my this uh, let me go back and let me open the virtual switch here and click on virtual switch and now you guys can see that my physical adapter is connected in the front end of this virtual switch one and in the background it is connected with the storage uh, port group okay so that's the basic configuration of the esxi server networking so the first one you guys have to connect a physical adapter the next one you guys have to create a standard switch and the third one is you guys have to create a port group so these are the three components which you guys need to configure for a basic networking after that we are going to add a vm kernel nick also on this port group and this is like uh, you guys have to configure this basic configuration on esxi server so now in the next video we are going to configure a vm kernel nick on this um our standard switch and after that we are going to add our storage so guys just stay connected with the cts cloud tech videos and subscribe my channel and like the video thank you thank you guys